Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, February the 7th. Welcome to our video commentary. I'm sure all of you are familiar with these two FBI agents, uh, let's just call them Peter and Lisa, who have been texting each other messages uh, for quite some time. Apparently, Peter and, and Lisa are involved in some kind of a love relationship, and when they're not saying romantic things to each other, they've been expressing some of their political opinions. Now, I don't know much about Lisa or what department she works in. Or I mean, she's been in the FBI, but I don't know where in the FBI she works. In the case of Peter, we know that uh, he was heavily involved in the email investigation of Mrs. Clinton, was one of the agents who actually interviewed uh, Mrs. Clinton, and then he was one of the people who wrote the opinion that Director Comey announced uh, regarding his decision that uh, Mrs. Clinton would not be prosecuted. After that, uh, uh, Peter went to work with uh, M Mr. Mueller in the current investigation. And last summer, uh, when some of his text messages came to the attention of Mr. Mueller, they decided to move him to another department and he's no longer involved in any of the investigations. But basically what Peter and Lisa were doing was they were sending each other some very serious political messages about how they felt about President Trump and how they felt about the people who had voted for President Trump. And these messages obviously became problematic for Mr. Mueller, who's obviously trying to conduct an investigation and be seen as fair and nonpartisan as possible. Well, today we learned that uh, one of the messages between Peter and Lisa had to do with President Obama. I don't remember which one of them, but one of them said that President Obama wanted to know what was going on. That, of course, changes all of this significantly because now it's not just Peter, now it's not just Lisa, now it's not just the email investigation. Now we're talking about President Obama, that apparently President Obama wanted to know how the investigation of Mrs. Clinton was coming along. This is very problematic, of course, because President Obama several times said that, you know, he had nothing to do with it, that he was independent of this. It's also problematic because obviously when the president of the United is checking in into an investigation, you know, that could be potentially seen as obstruction of justice. So where all of this is going, I, I think it's going to be very interesting. But to me, you know, I've been hearing from several friends, several people who keep telling me about this big storm coming, that there's this huge thing coming. I heard somebody on the radio the other day saying that this is going to be huge in a couple of months. And I'm starting to believe it now. I'm starting to believe it because, first of all, you have the memos and the FISA court, and now you have the story about Sidney Blumenthal involved in all of this, and now the reference to President Obama, and then, of course, Mrs. Clinton and her campaign. I mean, this whole thing is now dragging people into the, into the conversation that could potentially make this a very serious scandal. And my hunch is that that's where we're going. That's where we're headed. I don't know exactly who will be involved, but I think that major people in the Obama administration are going to have to start asking some very difficult questions. I think what usually happens in these investigations is somebody starts talking. Somebody starts talking. I, there, may very, there may very well be already people talking uh, w w within the government, and that may be how they're getting a lot of this information. I don't know that, but that may be happening. But I think this is whole-headed uh, to a situation that is not going to make President Obama, Mrs. Clinton, uh, and many of their uh, people around them very happy. And uh, we could be looking at a major scandal. But I do know one thing. I think we're headed to an independent council who's going to be looking at all of this quite closely. And that's not good news for President Obama, for Mrs. Clinton, and many of the people around them. So anyway, that's... Uh, that's what's happening today. Probably something else will happen tomorrow. But I think this is a scandal uh, that will be bigger and bigger over the next few weeks. Uh, we may be looking at something, uh, maybe the biggest uh, scandal, frankly, in the history of American politics. That could be what we'll be seeing here very soon. Thank you for watching. We have all of these uh, commentaries over at YouTube. We also have them on Twitter, and we also have them on my blog. Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.